What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite energy weapons in all of Fall 76. We have the Alien Disintegrator. Starting off with the weapon, this is it. This is our 3-star legendary Alien Disintegrator that we're using for the video, and we will be testing it with a full health and a low health commando build. But the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has the 25% faster fire rate, and it also has a 90% reduced weight. Over the mods, we're using, of course, the automatic receiver, the no muzzle, and the default appearance. Now, there is a few other mods that you can use with this weapon, but since we are using a commando build, we will be sticking with the automatic receiver. However, if you're a rifleman build, we have the cryo receiver, which adds cryo damage but reduces ammo capacity. We have the high powered receiver, which will give you the most amount of damage out of all these receivers. It says greatly increased damage, reduced ammo capacity, and fire rate. And then there's also the poison receiver, which adds poison damage but reduces ammo capacity. To obtain the plans for this weapon and the mods for yourself, you must complete the seasonal event invaders from beyond. Upon doing so, you may get them as a reward. To begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful Alien Disintegrator build, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that's because there's a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished. We're first going to start off with the full health build, and then we'll swap over to the bloody build. But here's our first target on the list. There we go, there we go. Look at that damage. This weapon shoots extremely fast, look at that. Holy crap, and this is a full health build. Look how much damage we're doing with it, though. Woo-wee, boy! This is absolutely insane. Though this weapon is not as powerful as the fixer, it is still extremely fun to use. Look at that. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. Oh, hound. What are you doing over here? You hiding from me? You hiding from me, boy? There we go. There we go. Outside of vats. Fantastic. Um, sir, sir, you okay over here? You just frozen? What are you doing? Now you're dead. Uh, oh, they're coming this way. Let me just, uh, vat shot you in the face. There we go. Vat shot in the face. There we go. Holy crap. And with the quad, look at our ammo capacity. We have 115 ammo capacity. That is absolutely insane. Uh-oh, we've got ourselves a green guy over here. Uh-oh, and he's a legendary. Now he's dead. Goodbye, you stupid green fools. What kind of legendary did we get? Let me just uh, walk over here real quick. A Grimond's Pipe Bolt Action Pistol. Is it a one? Oh my god, it's a one star. Making our way back through the West Tech Research Center, but this time we are our bloodied commando build. Now we will be doing a little bit more damage, but we will be less tanky. However, here's our first target. We're going to absolutely destroy his face. There we go. He died instantly. Oh, super mutant bro. Oh, 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 get out of here, you stupid suicider. We don't like those bombs coming near us. All right, here we go. Fantastic. There we go. And look at this matrix right here. That's gun food. There we go, absolutely amazing. We're gonna kill this guy outside of Vats real quick. Couple shots, there we go, 98s, 176s. Uh-oh, 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 he's getting close. There we go, he is dead, and now we have ourselves a floater, which is also dead, and so is that hound, and so is him, and so is him. Oh, he didn't die, but those other guys did, holy crap. We destroyed them pretty dang fast. Oh, super mutant brethren, you're not getting away from me. There we go, fantastic. Now, like I said earlier, this gun shoots extremely fast, which is insane. And we're gonna destroy this three-star legendary. Goodbye now, goodbye now. Uh-oh, we have ourselves a communist robot that is firing at us. He must also be vanquished. Our next wasteland monstrosity on the list to feel the wrath of the alien disintegrator builds is Z1, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Leroy. And we're going to shoot him a couple times outside of Vats just to wake him up. There we go. There we go. 53s, 95s. All right. Fantastic. And now we're going to absolutely destroy him in Vats. Here we go. Goodbye, you level 100 glowing behemoth. Now we've made our way back to the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Jeffrey. And he is going to have to fill the wrath of our bloodied commando build. Let me just get a little bit closer. We're going to wake him up real quick. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. And now again, we're going to destroy him in Vats. So say goodbye, Jeffrey. Look at that health drop. And just like that, he could not withstand the power of our alien disintegrator. Now we've made our way to one of the most foul creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Bulma. We're going to make her come over here real quick. Just follow the bullets, Bulma. Here we go. There we go. Amazing, amazing. Now, of course, we're going to destroy her in vats. So here we go. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Uh oh, we've been hit with the poison. Just got to be extremely careful. Actually, we don't have to be that careful with the full health build, but we still do not want to get hit with that poison. It's just extremely annoying. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. A little bit more damage, maybe outside of Vats. Here we go. Oh, God, I can't hold on to the weapon. Here we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
Goodbye now, you stupid bug. Let me just uh, finish you off in vats. And just like that, our Myler Queen is no more. After searching far and wide, we found ourselves another level 100 Myler Queen. And this one is actually the Queen herself. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. And we're going to obliterate her face. So let me just bob and weave. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Maybe not outside of vats. Okay, there we go. There we go. What are you going to do now, you stupid beast? Let me just reload real quick. There we go. Get a little bit closer. That way we can stay locked in the vats. There we go. Fantastic. And look at that health drain. These Myler Queens could not withstand the power of the alien disintegrators. Over in the builds, these are the base sets that make up our in-game full health commando build that we use for the video. So if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is your start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game full health commando build. Starting off in strength, we have 6 and this we can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from opponents melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15 and this we can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have ground pounder at two stars. Automatic rifles reload 20% faster and have an even better hit fire accuracy. We have tank killer at three stars. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire at one star. Vats now targets limbs. Focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have 13 and this one can have ironclad at four stars. Gain 40 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have fireproof at three stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated at two stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have Life Giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filter Gen at 1 star. Stim Packs and Rideaway right will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6, and this one can have Batteries included at 3 stars. Energy Weapon Ammo weighs 90% less. We have First Aid at 3 stars. Stim Packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in Agility, we have 15 15, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Covert Operative at 3 stars. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Escape Artist at 1 star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Sneak at 3 stars. You are 75% harder to detect while sneaking. We have Gunfu at 2 stars. Vat swaps targets on kill with a 10% then 20% of damage to your next 2 targets. We have Adrenaline at 3 stars. Gain 8% to max 48% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in Luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Better Criticals at 3 stars. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% of damage. We have 4 Leaf Clover at 2 stars. Each in Vats has a better chance to fill your critical meter. We have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from Rads and Radway will never cure your mutations. We have Critical Savvy at 3 stars. Critical Hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. And we have Ricochet at 2 stars, gaining 12% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. Now over in the bloody build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game bloody commando build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is your start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game bloodied commando build. Starting off in strength, we have 6, and this one can have Chattling Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have Blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have Ground Pounder at 2 stars. Automatic rifles reload 20% faster and have an even better hit fire accuracy. We have Tank Killer at 3 stars. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have Concentrated Fire at 1 star. Vats target limbs. Focus Fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. Over in Endurance, we have 13 and this one can have Ironclad at 4 stars. Gain 40 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have Kinfiend at 3 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 100% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psychotats in this video. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the Rads, the greater the Strength, a max plus 5 to Strength. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filter Drain at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radaway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6, and this one can have Batteries included at 3 stars. Energy weapon ammo weighs 90% less. We have Nerdrage Rage at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Covert Operative at 3 stars. Your ranged 
sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have escape artist at 1 star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have gunfu at 3 stars. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% to then 30% of damage to your next 3 targets. We have adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck we have 15 and this one can have bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have better criticals at 3 stars. Bats criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have 4 leaf cover at 2 stars. Each hit in bats has a better chance to fill your critical meter. We have starter genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and rado will never cure your mutations. We have critical savvy at 3 stars. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. We have serendipity at 1 star. While below 30% health, gain a 50% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. And we have ricochet at 1 star. Gain a 6% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage, no PvP. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards to help make up our in-game commando builds. Starting off with intelligence, we have that card maxed out, we have endurance maxed out, strength maxed out, luck maxed out, follow through maxed out, and funky duds at 1 star. These are the legendary perk cards, now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Starting off with our full health armor set, what we're using is a full set of vanguard's gear, which grants up to plus 35 to energy resistance and damage resistance to higher health, and since we are a high health build, this is absolutely amazing amazing. Over in the bloody build armor set, what we're using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives us a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except endurance when low health, and when you're a low health bloody build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with a high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the under armor, what I'm using is my shielded secret service under armor to get a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor herbivore marsupial scud skin and speed demon over in the buffs starting off with our food buffs we're using mute fruit juice to get a plus two to our agility simple firm flower tea to get a plus two to our strength potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max ap blight soup to get a plus 100 to our critical damage carrot soup to get a plus four to perception and of course a perfect bubble gum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase over in our kim buffs we're using overdrive to get a plus 13 to our critical damage and psychotats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception damage resist increase and a plus 11 to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over comparing two of my favorite sniper rifles in all of Fallout 76, the lever action rifle versus the hunting rifle. So if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now you see that, that is my sniper rifle video.